For those of you that are new to Microthema, I'd like to spend a few minutes introducing the basic workflow. We can style anything on the page with Microthema. The first step is to target something by creating a selector. We click the target button to enter targeting mode and then click an element to select it. The green plus icon tells us we haven't yet created a selector for the header element. If we hover over it, we see options for targeting just the top header element or both header elements on the page. Let's just create a selector for the top header element. We can then make the header area a bit more defined by giving it a light grey background and perhaps a subtle bottom border colour too, which we can make a little bit thinner and set to maybe a lighter grey colour. And that's the basic workflow. Target something on the page and then apply styles. Let's repeat the process for the menu, which is currently a little bit close to the site title and site description. We can then increase the top margin to give the menu a bit more breathing room. It might look nice if the menu font matched the site description font. We can find out which font is used for the site description by entering targeting mode and selecting the site description element. If we expand the advanced targeting options, the computed tab shows us the font family. Then if we create a selector for the menu links, we can set the exact same font family. Microthema has a handy feature for getting a list of the fonts already used on the current page. We can then select the font that we recognize. All of the selectors we create can be accessed from the selectors menu at the top left. Microthema adds selectors to the general folder by default, but provides other folders for organizing your selectors into. We can also create our own folders and rename selectors if Microthema's default name isn't very descriptive. It's good practice to sort and name our selectors before moving on to style another page. The highlight icon is helpful for reminding us what a selector targets if we forget. As well as finding selectors in the menu, we can navigate to them visually via targeting mode. A blue number is shown when hovering over an element that we have already created a selector for. We can jump straight to the selector from there. And that concludes this quick start video. Microthema has many more features that will be explained in other videos, but we've covered the core workflow, which you can now try out on your own website. Thanks for watching.